my chain ring is completely knackered. Well, I don't know if it's my chain ring or it's my cranks or my bottom bracket, but I've, I've stripped it out. It's making an awful creaking. I stripped it out and I've got like a score on my cranks. Probably where it was dirty and it was scored, so there's a constant creak. I've swapped two bottom brackets over. It doesn't seem to have done any, done any good. So what I'm going to do, kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to order one of these really cheap Chinese pieces of crap cranks and bottom brackets. And I'm going to install it. And I'm going to see how it goes compared to the expensive ones. I think they're £44, um, including shipping. And that's crank, chain ring, bottom brackets. So I'm not expecting the best. But at least it won't make a noise. And noises drive me crazy. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Right, the cheap Chinese cranks have arrived. I'm surprised because they've actually arrived in a box and not a jiffy bag like people are saying they were going to arrive. The jiffy bags are inside the box. <laughs> some cranks with some Chinese newspaper. <laughs> They don't look too bad, they look quite well machined, a bit sharp around the edges. Does that look straight to you? <laughs> I don't know. So I can't break them with my hands. They are very sharp though. So I'm going to fit the bottom bracket first. Feels alright, the bearings feel like. I thought they're going to be quite light and flimsy, but these actually seem okay. Take it for a little circle around the block, see if everything's okay, and then we're going to go for a main ride tomorrow. So before I go out and test this, be interested to see what the other members of Adventure Trails MTB actually think about me fitting these cheap cranks on this bike. I know there's a bit of reservation about it and a bit of worry about it. Let's go. Uh, let's go to Ben first. So Gaz Laws asked my opinion about this Fong Tour crank arm set he's looking about getting or I think he might have ordered it already. I think it's about 45 quid, it's on Amazon. It's got, it's probably about a third of the cost of XT. Um, so it doesn't seem like that bad an idea. There seem to be a couple of, a couple of concerns I've got. Um, it says road on the product description. So it's never a good sign. A few other things that um, reviews of this font tour on the internet are saying that they're taking pictures of different parts and then selling other ones. So that's a bit of a risk. Uh, but there are some good reviews on there. So it's worth trying, isn't it? I mean, times are hard at the moment. Coronavirus, all of that. No one's got lots of money th splashing around. So I think it's worth a try. Cheating Chinese cranks. Yeah, I'm quite scared, but it's not going to stop me putting some torque through, through these cranks. What's your dog? Especially that one. <laughs> I'm nervous about going up steps. Oh, oh buddy. I hate those extendable leads with dogs on. I don't know what's worse, a dog being loose 
and out of control or freaking hell and he's using those leads. So what do you think Sai? These swifty, nifty, awesome Chinese cranks. Brief video about Gazers. Weird cranks from China. Fondo. Fondo. Fonda. You know, I can't even remember the name, it's that weird. Okay, very briefly. Cheap cranks from China. The reviews said they were good, okay? Now, there's something you need to see when it comes to cranks. This is a crank set I put on a mountain bike. As you can see, it's huge. It's a road crank set, so I'm in no position to judge when it comes to putting crank sets on bikes, yeah? So, go for it. What's the worst thing that can happen? They'll fall to pieces when you're going downhill, and you'll go head first off a cliff. Otherwise, they'll just work fine, and you'll save a fortune. Find out. Well, it's pretty, pretty to walk on through the cranks. Bit of uphill. Coming on your right. Cheers, guys. No better test for these cranks than being on a hard tail, I suppose. And from a start, put some torque down. Everything feels okay there. No squeaks, creaks, or cracks. Going uphill, cranks seem nice. It's no wiggle, no play. So I've got my gears four or five down and I'm cranking up these hills to the point where I'm nearly stopping and so far there are no issues hitting the roots I need to hit them a bit faster beautiful day a little bit of a tree stump here no problem Jumping off the roof slot. I'll go back. Hi guys. I did. Every time you want to take a pass, there's a bloody dog walking in the way. I get. I've thrown roots at it, I've thrown Damien all at it. I tit it. Next step. Well, next thing I'm going to do. Throw some stairs at it. If anybody's got any kind of confidence in the decisions that I make, it's you, Gordon. What do you reckon about these cranks, mate? So, guys, messaged me this morning, telling me he's ordering some new cranks. So I'm like, oh yeah, nice cranks, XT, SLX, something like that, you know, SRAM then sends me a picture of these Fonto cranks from China. <laughs> Real cheap. <laughs> I've had experience with cheap stuff from China and it's not good. And he's wanting to put these cranks on his Sonder, which he takes down some pretty gnarly stuff. And I think it's gonna end in tears. I think he's mad. I think he's crackers. <laughs> I think he needs to put them back in the packaging and send them back. <laughs> Don't do it. I've got to say I'm a little bit nervous about this. Check out. Is it like a pro? So you can see, I'm a little bit sweaty. I've just taken the bike out, 45 minutes of torque, hills, roots, as Sam Pilmergrim would say, a stair set of doom. Uh, and these things, they're amazing. 
So what I'm going to do, I had all the intention of coming and taking these out after the first ride, thinking they were going to be smashed and broken and they're going to be no good, they're going to flex, and they didn't, they were really, really good. And I don't ride bikes light, I'm not a, a canal towpath rider. So I'm going to do a review, I'm going to do a review in about two months time, um, so that will give me enough time on the hard tail and these cranks to see if they're any good. I anticipate I'm going to be swapping the bottom bracket over, but apart from that, Wow, I'm impressed. 45 quid. Let's give it a couple of months and see how it goes. But so far, these are looking brilliant.